hope everybody's doing really well today. I am here to do one of my uh, newly released coloring books videos. I know it's been a while since I've done one, but this one is themed. So it's going to be newly released wintery Christmassy kind of books and just straight up Christmas coloring books. And I'm so, so excited. Um, so most of them are from November. There might be one that came out in December, but most of them are from November. And while chit-chatting to you, I shall be coloring in my Nice Little Town Christmas Collection book uh, by Tatiana Bogima Stolova. I got this book last year and I really, really like it. It's a collection of four Christmas books. And at the time of this coming out, that was all of her Christmas books. She did release a new one this year, which is Nice Little, nice little Town Christmas three which looks adorable and i would love to get my hands on that one but in full honesty i've only done one page in here i only got to do one page last year so i was really excited to whip it out again this year so i did already start working on a page and it looks like this so i based it in alcohol marker my ohuhus and now i'm going in and shading with um prisma colors so Without further ado, let's hop on in. I do have 10 books to talk about today. The first book I'm gonna talk about is by Ava Brown and it is called Winter Wonders. And there are 30 images. This was released on November 24th, of course, of this year. And it is currently $6.99. I think Ava Brown does introductory prices, right? So like if you, um go on to amazon and snag it within the first like week of its release or something like that i believe it's cheaper but now it's 6.99 um i will leave everything linked down below um all of the books i'll be talking about are available on amazon i don't know if they will come before christmas i guess it really depends on where you're located um i did purchase some books Yesterday I ordered, this is such a tangent, but I ordered some books yesterday off of Amazon and they said that it will not arrive before Christmas, which I personally don't care about because the books are for me, but that is just something to keep in mind. But so there are again, 30 images, you do get doubles. So overall you're gonna get 60 images. Um, they are single-sided and it says they're perfect for every skill level. So love that. Uh, the images are single-sided, which I believe is true for all books by Ava Brown. Um, you do get a preview of a handful of them on Amazon, and they look very cutesy. The, you definitely can use alcohol markers. They're not crazy detailed, but at the same time, they're not very simple pages. I feel like they are a happy medium, and with them being single-sided, you could most definitely use your alcohol markers in there. Um, there's Santa, there are teddy bears, there's elves, there's snow globes, there's angels. It's very, very adorable. Um, I think this time of year, just so many amazing coloring books come out. And I don't know about you folks, but I want to own them all, absolutely all of them, um, as if I could color Christmas every day of the year. I mean, I guess I could, but I feel like part of the joy of this time of year is the fact that it's not year around, right? Am I the only one? Can't be the only one. <laughs> uh, but yes, $6.99 and so far it has eight ratings on Amazon as of me filming this and they're all five stars. So love that. But also Ava Brown's quite a known company at this point and we know we like them. We know they do authentic work, which is amazing. Um, the next book is by Coloring Book Cafe. I think there's other books by them in this video. I can't recall. Um, and it is called Christmas Country Town, a Christmas coloring book featuring fun and relaxing holiday scenes in a country inspired town. It is $7.99 and it's from November 11th. I don't know if I mentioned that. I might have. But anyways, November 11th. And... Let's see how many images there are. 
It is not specified. I love that. <laughs> but it says, embrace the Christmas spirit and enjoy a gorgeous tapestry of festive countryside illustrations that will soothe your mind and melt your heart. Love that. Uh, bustling with a delightful assortment of rusty countryside illustrations, this charming book by beloved brand Coloring Book Cafe invites you to walk the cobblestone streets of a cozy and picturesque town, go slaying down a snowy hillside, and awaken your childhood nostalgia with tons of lovely Christmas scenes. Yes, please. <laughs> you, of course, get previews. I love Coloring Book Cafe for that. They are really, really forthcoming with the images that are in the book which if you're not new to my channel you know it really peeves me off when companies don't include previews because it just seems like the worst marketing idea possible so coloring book cafe is one of the best in providing previews um this book is definitely more detailed than the one by Ava Brown that I had just talked about. Um, I think you could still use alcohol markers, but you'll definitely need to go in with some more either fine liners or something because there are some more detail work in this book. But it's definitely also much more rustic and less like cutesy magical as compared to the Ava Brown book. So this is a bit more on the realistic side. Um, there's mountains, there's um, some kids caroling, there's some baked goods, uh, there's a horse wearing um, a wreath. So a little bit of everything. I really like it. However, I think if you're somebody who does not enjoy coloring snow, I am within that category. I don't really enjoy coloring um, snow or the winter outdoors. Um, I don't know if this book would be for you because a lot of the pictures are outside. So there is a lot of snow scenery and such. So I would personally be hesitant to pick up this book just because I don't enjoy coloring snow. Uh, basically because I don't know how to. <laughs> um, so if you're somebody like me, maybe the Ava Brown book would be a better fit because they had more cutesy and indoor scenes while well, this is more realistic and outdoors. But to each their own. So but both books looks, look really, really sweet. A book that I am super excited about and I did actually post about it on the community tab when it came out is by RJ Hampson. And it came out November 14th and it is called Christmas Tiny Homes. And I love anything by this artist. I somehow don't own anything by the artist, but I would really like to get my hands on this one and a couple other ones. They're on the top of my wish list. Um, but this book, let's see how many images it contains. It says it has 25 images. They're single-sided. Um, I don't believe there's any duplicates. So you'll just get the 25 pages. Um, no, actually, I would say there's duplicates because um, overall the book is 108 pages, uh, which means 50 sheets of paper. And if there's only 25 images, I would say that there's duplicates. They're hand-drawn and you unfortunately do not get previews which not the best. Well, I guess you get to see one and it's really cute. It's like gifts, like presents that are wrapped and stuff that are turned into homes and there's little gnomes everywhere. So really, really adorable. He just does a really good job of like whimsical and creative and cutesy kind of artwork. So really like his stuff and, um, yeah, the book is, let's see how much, I think I already said, $9.95. So really good price. Um, I think they're Amazon printed, if I'm not mistaken. So that will speak to the quality of the paper. It so far has 14 ratings and overall it's about 4.5 stars. So pretty fabulous. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see more stuff from this artist. I don't know, I'm a sucker for anything by R.J. Hansen. The next book is also by Ava Brown and it is called Winter Charm. Guess what, folks? It's charming, it sure is charming. 
Um, it was released November 9th and it's currently $6.99 and there are 30 images, 30 unique images, but you do get duplicates. So overall, you're going to get 60 images to color. Um, and there are birds. There's definitely birds in this book. So if you're not a bird person, maybe it is not the one for you. Um, it's kind of a combination of outdoor scenes, but then also like some very busy backgrounds. So if you're, if the title of this sounds interesting to you, definitely check out the preview because it is definitely by a different artist than the first Ava Brown book that I talked about. This has much more like zen tangly backgrounds and much more detailed backgrounds. Alcohol markers would not fly if you wanted to color in all the details. You of course don't have to, but I would say this book is better suited for fine tipped markers or like, um, not alcohol, what is it? The permanent markers. It's just a little too busy to be an alcohol marker kind of book unless you're okay with blending, you know, a bunch of details into one basically. So that is Winter Charm. And this says, um, our Winter Charm coloring book welcomes you into a relaxing, stress relieving world where you can let your coloring imagination run wild. Let's see if there's more of a description. And they're also single sided per usual. Um, that is it. So there's, I guess, no more of a description than that. And it says, included in this book are 30 unique and charming winter scenes. As we know, as we know, Ava Brown. So, so far there are 10 ratings, again, as of me making this video. And uh, the book has five stars. So the people that have gotten it are really enjoying it, which is always, always lovely to see. So moving on to the next book. It is by Morgana Sky. It's from November 7th, it's $7.99, and it's titled Christmas Animals. A Christmas coloring book featuring a collection of cute animals and festive holiday scenes for stress relief and relaxation. If there's one thing, well, there's a lot of things, but one thing that I'm definitely a sucker for, it's cute holiday animals. How can you not like cute holiday animals? Oh, this book melts my heart. It has so many cute little animals and they're in little scarves and hats and um, there's birds and pigs and puppies and bears, ducks. There's such an array of animals and outfits and activities. This book is just a delight from head to toe, basically. It's so sweet. Um, it's definitely alcohol marker friendly. It, the line work is nice and thick. It's not crazy detailed. Um, there's some backgrounds, but the backgrounds are pretty straightforward, like maybe some trees or something. Some of the images are indoors. Some of their, them are outdoors. So you do get a nice mix of both. And overall, I just think this book is so sweet. This is one that I would love to own, but again, I don't know, like like the book I'm coloring in, right? I've had for a year, over a year, and I've had one picture colored in it. So I don't know if I can justify purchasing any, any more Christmas books, but this one is one that I would love to own. And I think there's a lot of potential in the book um, to maybe even make the animals like fun colors. Like just because it's a duck doesn't have to be realistic duck colors. It could be purple or blue or anything. It could be gold. It could be gold encrusted Christmas duck because why not? Um, the next book is a color by numbers, which I think it's the first one so far. It's by such and such diva and it's called mosaic art color by number Christmas patterns coloring book. So this book has the three by three millimeter sections. It is $6.99. It was released on November 7th. There are 25 um, illustrations. Uh, the color palette is 21 colors, which I think his books are all consistent with the color palette, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could be wrong on that. <laughs> but there are Christmas trees, there are patterns, there are gifts, there's Santa. It's This is a really, really sweet book. Um, I am a complete and utter sucker for... Uh, 
like books like this with a three by three millimeter sections. I have a couple, I wanna say, from like Belba Family. They're just so fun and they're super relaxing to do like the cross method or the dot method in them. Um, and yeah, such and such diva definitely comes out with lovely books. He is a crowd favorite, I dare to say. And yeah, I feel like most of his releases are always met with like open arms and really positive feedback. Um, as of today, there are three reviews. Um, they're all five stars. So way to go, Sajin. Um, just an adorable book all around. I am currently coloring in a lines book by, well, not obviously not at the moment, but I'm also currently coloring in a lines book by I think Cactus Girl. And I just think like the one color books or the mosaic books like this are very relaxing and they're great to have around when you kind of need to pay attention to something, but at the same time, like you don't need to participate. So I will color in like mosaic books like this one or the line book when, uh, for example, I'm in a call for work where I just need to listen, but I don't have to participate or if I'm just hanging out with my family. Because um, I feel like books like this one could just be, they require, in my mind, uh, more concentration while something like the mosaic or a one color could be more of a, I don't know, you could be more spacey, I guess, <laughs> is a way of putting it while you are coloring. The next book is by Demita Victoria. I can't believe it's been this long into a video before I mentioned Demita Victoria. I feel like usually... <laughs> I talk about so many books by them, but it is called Counting to Christmas. So it's technically like an advent calendar, but there are 25 simple Christmas images in here. And just because there's 25 and that happens to be the countdown to Christmas, obviously does not mean that you have to color them in an advent kind of fashion or that you can't start later in the month. A picture is a picture. <laughs> but anyway, so... The images are meant to be quite simple. So if you do choose to do it as an advent calendar, you know, you're able to accomplish the page in one day, which I greatly appreciate because I feel like that would be terrible to get like an advent themed or like an advent styled book where the images are super detailed. Because I mean, most folks don't have like five hours or four hours or something like that to sit down and color a super detailed page like every single day. If you do, I am highly jealous. That's amazing, but I would say most of us unfortunately do not, even though we probably would absolutely love it. Um, but there are some like words, like there's a picture that just says joy and you get to color that. There are some fairies, there's some candy, there's a gingerbread house. So very um, alcohol marker friendly, thick line work, like very minimal to no backgrounds. And I wanna say this book is even smaller. Like I don't think it's a full, like I don't think it's this size kind of book. Um, let's see, let's see if it specifies. Whoops. Um, no, it does not specify. Okay, well, the images are single-sided. Again, you do get 25. There's no duplicates. They're single-sided, black-backed. Um, that's about it. And it says there's a lovely numbered, numbered coloring page to look forward to every single day. But again, you don't have to obviously do them in uh, an advent, advent style. Um, and the, yeah, it's just spark your imagination as well as get you in the mood for the special season. Um, yeah, is everybody in the mood for Christmas or any of you kind of like struggling to be in the mood for Christmas this year? I know it's 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 been a rough year for a lot of folks and this time of year can also be very difficult for some folks. So I hope everybody's doing all right and I hope everybody's slowly getting into the holiday spirit, whether you know, however you celebrate it, whoever you celebrate it with, I hope everybody is slowly getting into the spirit of it. We are possibly gonna get our first like real snowstorm this weekend. 
which I'm pretty excited about, A, because I don't have to go anywhere. So I don't have to actually put up with a snowstorm, except for like sit inside and drink hot cocoa and be cozy. Uh, but then also because I am a strong supporter and a strong believer in white Christmases. Like I want snow on the ground for Christmas and it would be very, very disappointing if we did not have a white Christmas. Like I moved back to New Hampshire for this, right? Like in Germany, we didn't really have white Christmases because it, where I was living, it didn't really snow. If it did, it melted quite quickly. So New Hampshire weather, please come through. We need, I need a white Christmas, but we shall see. Moving on to a Morgana Sky book, which I think we already had one, but it's called Christmas Flowers. And it's $7.99, it's from November 3rd. And it's for fellow uh, flower enthusiasts. I love floral books. I feel like that's kind of a debated topic. Some people love them, some people hate them. I love florals. I really enjoy my Joanna Basford uh, World of Flowers book. I am drawn to floral imagery just in general. And to have a specific, like dedicated Christmas flower book, lovely idea. And also, I don't know if I've seen another like book specifically dedicated to like holiday florals. I don't know. Um, so there are over two dozen images. Um, they're one-sided. I don't know. I think there are doubles. I'm sorry, I'm really not sure. It doesn't specify, um, but it says over two dozen hand-drawn floral, floral illustrations. Um, the previews are detailed, love that. Um, so there are some more detailed images, some less detailed, and it's not just a flower on every single page. There are like floral, like bouquets, of course. There's like also a snow globe with flowers around it, or there's just bells, like jingle bells that have some flowers around it. So even though I feel like it's a very specific topic for the coloring book, they still presented you with a variety of illustrations. So if you're somebody that are not sure if you could handle or be interested in a full book of florals, still give it a, tr like still check it out. Um, you could see a bunch of previews on um, Amazon because they do also add a bunch of other things that might catch your eye. Um, it would definitely be alcohol marker friendly some of the areas are a bit more detailed, but I think if you're careful, you could still get away with using alcohol marker. If not, you will definitely get away with using like a permanent marker or of course a water-based marker if you chose to go down that route. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of going back and forth and shading the red sections of this to add a little bit more dimension to them. And then moving on to the next book, and it is by Color Questopia. I feel like it's been like a while since I talked about a Color Questopia book. For some reason, they just kind of like fell off my radar. I don't know. They don't really come up um, on Amazon. Like they don't pop up as recommendations for me on Amazon anymore. Um, so I had to go search this one out. So I just specifically looked up Color Questopia to see if they had any like Christmas books this year. I don't know why Amazon no longer suggests them to me because they definitely used to and I've owned a lot of their books. But anyways, it is Christmas Patterns. It's from November 4th, it's $7.99. Um, did their books get more expensive or were they always $7.99? Because again, I've owned a handful of their books but I feel like they used to be cheaper. I don't know, I could be making that up. But anyways, there are 25 images and I think it's similar to, was it Autumn Patterns that they had, which was super duper popular. And I thought that was a really cute book. Um, their images are always single-sided. There's no duplicates. You do always get a handful of bonus images in the back. I wanna say it's like five images maybe that you get in the back. So they do tend to be quite generous with providing you with some extras from some of their other books which is always lovely and you can see if you're interested in any of their other stuff. 
their color palette has definitely evolved and changed quite a lot since they came onto the scene. They've been actively listening and uh, seeking out feedback for their books, which I think is stellar. Um, as somebody that also works in the realm of like user research, it's a fabulous business move on their part. So they have changed their color palette multiple times, how complex it is, how many colors are in the palette. And now I think it's 30, let's see. Six times four, sorry, it's 24. And then they also have a flesh tone, which um, you can make whatever you want. So really, really sweet. Um, you do get a little bit of a preview on Amazon and their books are always alcohol marker friendly, at least the ones that I've had. Um, they do come in a white and black background, so that is up to you. I personally would recommend the black background. That way you don't have to do the outline and you don't have to worry about bleed, like bleeding outside of the lines. So they will definitely, that getting a black background book will definitely save you a bunch of headaches or a headache, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, I personally prefer black background. I know not everybody does, but if you're new to Color by Number or Color Questopia, I would recommend starting with the black background books. And the last book in this video is from November 4th. It is $7.99 and it's by Alexandra Francesi. Francesi, I think is how you say it. And it is Winter Chibis. So Alexandra used to be with Jade Summer and then Jade Summer had that whole debacle of where Amazon like kicked him off. I think it's been a year since that happened. I think that was last last autumn. Um, if you were not around or you didn't follow the whole drama, like Amazon had accused Jade Summer, that is who are like a publishing company of copyright infringement on something and just stopped selling their books and while all of the Jade Summer books were actually Amazon printed. So they didn't just lose a, like their main sales channel, they also lost basically their publisher, right? Like who's gonna publish their books? So Alexandra Francesi ended up kind of going solo, I guess you could say, and branching out and doing books on her own, which is amazing because her books are fabulous. So of course, Jade Summer has been reinstated on Amazon since that whole debacle. They won the, I don't want to say legal battle because I don't know if the law got involved. But anyways, they were reinstated. Jade Summer is back on Amazon, at least last time that I checked. But Alexandra Francesi still does books on her own now. So that's a little bit of a background story on that whole drama. But um, she has a whole line of chibi books. And as you folks know, I'm not a chibi fan. Uh, it's just, it doesn't inspire me to, I'm not drawn to it very much. But a lot of folks are, and that's fine. I think these books are super duper cute. Um, and I just know that her books are always alcohol marker friendly. Like the line work is nice and thick. The backgrounds are minimal to non-existent. They're very cutesy. And there are 30 images in this book. Um, they are single-sided, they're blank on the back. So not black backed. And um, she does feature at least one coloring page in the back uh, from one of the other books. So you can also experience um, some of her other artwork. I don't own anything by her, but I've seen really cute images done from her other books. And in general, she is very, very warmly received by the coloring folks. So that is the 10 books that I was going to talk about today. Um, I hope everybody's having an amazing holiday season. I'm so excited to see the completed pages for the month for other folks because of all the holly jolly coloring. It's just gonna be amazing. And again, all of those books are linked down below. I will also link this one. Um, I'm assuming it's still available for sale. I really, really like this book. 
it's a very thick book and I honestly feel like I will never go through all of these images considering the fact that it took me a year to do one page. Well, that's not true. I, I did that page really quickly, but in one year I've done one page. So I think this book for most folks would last probably a lifetime. But yeah, if you decide to go for any of the books I talked about today, let me know what you think of them or if you already own them. Like, did you like them? What was your impression? You know, share, please share all the feedback and all the information down below. Um, I love seeing conversations and discussions happening in the comments and I'm always so excited to participate and kind of share my two cents. But yes, thank you so much to everybody for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.